Hi everyone, I'm Manny, and I'm going to introduce you to our Spotlight Artist. Um, my name is Dee Marcellus Cole. I was born in a blizzard in Nebraska at home, but I've lived many, many places. So right now I live in Upland, California. What is your artistry? Um, right now I, I am 91, so I'm not doing art. It was a lot of work, but I started out as a painter, uh, watercolors, because that was cheap, and tempera, and oil paintings and things like that. But I, it evolved, because I've lived a long time, and uh, right, ending up doing sculptures. And what I do is, what if? I, I lived through the Depression, and I lived through World War II, where you didn't have a lot of things. And so you pick up what if, and you use that for your inspirations. How have the arts impacted you? It's given me a wonderful community of people. I meet the most unusual people that are so accepting and all that. I, I never pretended to be fancy. I'm just home style, easy thinking, yeah. Can you explain why you chose your legendary artist? I chose the, the artist Wayne Tebow. Uh, he, he's dead now. Uh, he was a, f a few years older than I, but he was a teacher, a professor. I was in his first class, and he went on to be very f famous. And I think his part of influencing me was about the color. He would. He said, "Never use black or brown," and that was true. And I learned that from my stage, doing stage sets and things like that. Because on the stage, brown and black just sucked. They just disappeared. And so I used purples and blues and greens, and I think that's where his influence was. And he, he was very wonderful. And that was at Sacramento uh, Junior College, and they called them junior colleges rather than community colleges. What advice would you give to a young artist? Just have fun. Don't, don't worry about what other people think. Just do what you think and um, experiment. It's not going to be a keeper forever. It's going on and saying, what if? What if? Think beyond the box. And I always like to work with children thinking something besides the rectangle. The, the TV's a rectangle. You look out your car window. You look through all these things that are in your desk. Everything's a rectangle. Think beyond the rectangle. And one of the reasons I have these things here uh, is I went out and looked out in my garden, and what do I see? What does this look like? What if I did something with it? What does this look like? It looks like a person, doesn't it? And Nature just provided the hair for me. <laughs> and what I would say, I take this in and I say, what can you make out of it? Can you make it bigger? Can you wear it? Can you, what, what, what would you do? It already has got a mouth. So what can I do with this? So that's what I say to students. And this is what one student did. Isn't he wonderful? He has black teeth, sad eyes, I think. 
What's this? Birds on the... S you gotta think outside the box. It's gotta be something other than. And this hangs on... Does this look like a palm frond now? No. It looks like a mask. And the colors, aren't they wonderful? So think outside the box. That's what I... Outside the rectangle.